Hey y'all. So today is Sunday and I'm just sitting here in my living room eating this silk, you know, it's completely vegan. It's their almond yogurt alternative. And this is the apple cinnamon flavor. I've never had this before. It's pretty good. And oh my gosh, please, please do not cook me for having these ugly ass nails. Like, uh, I don't know what happened. Like, actually scratch that. I know exactly what happened. Um, Don't you know when like something's bothering you so you just start picking at it? So yeah, like my nails were bothering me. Like I hate how it had looked in my vlog, which you guys are going to see. And so um, I started to pick at them. So my plan is to actually get rid of the rest of this today after I finish eating this. And then, yeah, I'm going to try to do my nails in a different way. And I'll definitely update you guys on how that turns out this tastes so good it's like perfect because it's like very fall tasting like cinnamon come on now and the leaves have changed colors and it's a cold day today even though this is cold but it's just like it tastes very fall so not really up to anything today yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to do a little vlog, even though I'm not doing anything. But I guess now would be a good time to talk about my experience with the chiropractor and like how I'm feeling about two days later. So I went to the chiropractor on Friday and you guys are going to see the clips of me um, kind of getting the procedure done. Apply a little pressure. You'll hear some popping and cracking. One more. Breathe in. And breathe all the way out. Breathe in. Okay, good. Come on to your side. Face me this way. Face this way? Face this way, yeah. Okay. Other side for me. Okay. I saw that smile. Yeah. Very satisfying. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot of tension, you know, sit in front of a computer. On your back, face up. Okay. Give you good support and it's cushiony, like a tennis shoe, while you're walking around, or in your case, standing around. Um. There we go. Oh, yeah. There it is. Good. Come on up. Okay. And honestly, I don't feel like that much different. The only thing I feel like that is better is just like, I feel like I'm more opened up a little bit. So I feel like it's not too hard for me to like pull my shoulders back to have better posture. So I think that's good. Um, the procedure was not painful at all. I feel like I was most uncomfortable when he left me in the room with i don't know what this what what the machine that he had me hooked up to was called but basically he had put these like electromagnetic strips on me in the machine it's like sending electro i don't know something with electronics or like electricity like i was pretty much kind of like getting shocked in a way i think because it kind of hurt like when he kept cranking it up he kept he when he cranked it up he would tell me like tell me when to stop it when it feels like it's strong but it's like still bearable and so I was like and then when he would you know turn it up my my I kept like flinching like my body was like moving on its own which was interesting but I was most uncomfortable like that wasn't even uncomfortable to be honest to get that to get that done to me I was most uncomfortable when he left and then my face was just like in between the um the part where you have your face like that was not comfortable like I really felt so uncomfortable I was almost like scared I started feeling like oh my gosh like did he forget that I was in here like I felt like my face was buried in that little whatever forever and it was so uncomfortable so yeah um, 
I mean, I just feel like the procedure was okay. It wasn't life changing. I don't feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm a new person. But I do feel a little bit better, but I feel like I can also attribute that feeling to actually sleeping on the floor in combination with going to the chiropractor. Because prior to my appointment, I had started sleeping on the floor, which I would really recommend you guys if you are experiencing any type of like back pain or like just tightness. Because when you sleep on your back, everything relaxes and it just, I don't know, it helps. Now, that's not a long-term solution, but that's definitely something that's going to help you over the course of time. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, don't think I'm going to be going back there again other than next, the Friday coming. I have to go back to kind of get a, another consultation so he can tell me what he thinks and, like, all that other stuff. But, yeah, it was okay, and... um I think I'm better off just getting a massage because he kept mentioning and also when he was like poking around like in my back area he kept saying like he could feel how tight it was in that area but he said it was muscle tightness um which is not the same thing as having like spine issues but um I feel like what I was trying to get at from before was the electromagnetic whatever's it kind of did help like loosen some of that up but I feel like if I get a massage then I'm really gonna be like really good like after that so hopefully I can get a massage pretty soon and, and update you guys on like how my overall body is feeling and yeah that's pretty much it um as far as the rest of this week is concerned I'm just trying to you know hopefully get the rest of my videos hashed out like filmed and stuff because I have so much like that I want to put on my channel and it's just like I need to actually plan to film it and then obviously edit it and then get it on my channel which I'm looking forward to and yeah um later this week in this vlog I have some other things going on so it's gonna be really cool Okay, y'all, so I just finished making my, I don't even know what I would call this because I definitely feel like I need to eat something else after this, but this is pretty much like a late, very late lunch. So tomato soup and then garlic naan. And I'm just about to eat this really quick because I'm so hungry. Pointed, I feel like they look very expensive, but they were only 70 days. This setup is so bad and so janky until I can get an actual um, freaking motherfucking, <laughs> oh 
a motherfucking um what the hell are these things called the um tripod for the car for the dashboard yeah that i literally have been that's what i've been trying to say for literally five minutes now but um i was just getting some blood work done so i can figure out my blood type because i just want to know but today's been okay um right now i'm on my way back home i don't know i'm just feeling so good about the future that i have like i love when i start feeling better about my life and like where i'm supposed to be as a person and all that stuff so yeah like i'm just so excited i have some cool videos coming up very soon and i can't wait for y'all to see what i got going on but yeah right now i'm on my way home i'm gonna i'm gonna wash my dishes and then i'm gonna what am i gonna do i'm gonna oh yeah Actually, no, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but yeah, I just wanted to update my vlog once again. I want to just come over here and talk my shit. Hey, y'all, so I'm back home, and I have a little bit more that I wanted to talk about, so I figure let's get talking. And right now, bruh, I literally, when I wasn't recording, I literally knew exactly what I wanted to say and now that I'm recording I'm like what the fuck do I have to say like what do I have to say <laughs> I cannot remember anyway when it comes back to me then I'll try to pick back up because I don't know what the fuck is going on what did I want to talk about okay so I just remembered one thing that I had to say and that was so pretty much what's been going on with me is right now i've been waiting on a refund for my laundry card so where i live the unit does not have a washer and dryer inside of it and so i have to wash my clothes in the basement which i hate doing because it's so like ugly down there and sometimes when i'm washing clothes I'll wash with my um, headphones on and then people will come down and I won't hear them and then they'll actually scare me by accident. Like they're not trying to scare me but like I'll end up getting scared and it's so stupid. But anyway, my apartment complex, I guess they stopped using the vendor that they was using so they removed all their units, all their washer and drying units and then um, before refunding people and before even notifying the tenants that they had changed vendors. And I was like so confused as to why they carried out things that way because if you plan on doing something this critical, let the people know before you goddamn do it. You feel me? So they didn't do that and um, so pretty much I was picking, oh, there's a bird over there. Oh yeah, so I went to my rental office and then um, to pick up the new laundry card and then I was trying to figure out like when or how or if me getting a refund was possible because I was just like, y'all did all this shit and didn't tell nobody and then literally the day that they, or like the day that they decided they were gonna do that, I, had, I didn't know about that and I was planning on washing my clothes so I put a bunch of money on my laundry card so that I could wash clothes and then they said, and then I got this letter like a day later, like, oh, we're changing vendors. Y'all are dumb. So anyway, um, the rental office people sent me an email, you know, on how to go about getting my refund. And so I, you know, followed the instructions, which was to mail the paper or no, which was to mail my old laundry card. And then, you know, I guess they're going to give me a check for what's on the card why has it been a month later and i still have not received my check now i mean i thought it would literally take a month and i had put a bunch of money on the card so i don't really feel the need to put a bunch more money on the card that's why i haven't put any but i guess now i have no choice i probably just put five dollars on it because i don't really have that much to do it's just i like knowing that there's left over so that i don't have to keep going out to put money on the fucking card so that was just one thing that was pissing me off and um yeah just wanted to throw this in there
Hey y'all. So I was just cooking really quick and I'm trying to see if this rice is ready because I'm ready to eat. I think it's ready. Honestly, truly. Y'all saw me take a sip of some Chardonnay. It wasn't even a sip. I, this is like my second cup and bruh, I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't really be drinking like that, but I just feel like drinking just to listen to music while I cook because I wanted time to go by fast, which it did. And the rice is ready, I think. And ugh, I'm so hungry. It's 3.36 p.m. I'm one of those people that if I cook early and if I'm home, I'll eat dinner early because... I'm not eating dinner late. Eating dinner late is not good for you. Let me see if this is ready. I'm making shrimp masala. And to be honest now, I don't even know if this is really masala because I don't know. Like that's what it said on the, the glass because it's pre-made masala sauce, but low key it's just like, I don't even know anymore. Yep, that tastes fucking bomb. Let me toast my naan. And y'all about to see me eat. Y'all, I really do not be drinking like that because I find other ways to chill. But oh my gosh, I feel fucking good. Um, the Chardonnay really hit me. I know it's because I barely ate anything today, which is literally terrible. Like, I literally only feel like this because I didn't eat enough today. But I feel fucking good. Yeah, I'm just about to dish my dinner out because I'm so hungry so hungry i'm probably gonna eat a lot more than this too like chef's kiss baby <laughs> okay y'all so <laughs> i just finished cooking my dinner and y'all can see that shit steaming right there this is some shrimp masala with jasmine rice and a slice of naan and i'm watching kayla nicole and she's so fucking funny, honestly. I just finished drinking my Chardonnay over there. But I'm about to crush, like, bruh. This is really just... Ah! Hold on, let me just take a bite for y'all really quick. I'm not even about to... Y'all not... Okay, let's see. So, this is really steaming hot. Like, y'all can see the seam. And I'm also hot right now. Ooh wee, ooh wee, like bruh, this this tastes so good. I'm about to cry. Hey you guys, so I know I look crazy right now. This is literally like much later in the day. I mean, it's literally night. What am I talking about? But um, I just wanted to come on here and say like. Does anybody else have really bad nerves? Like, oh my gosh, like I have the, like my anxiety is already bad, but like my nerves are also another subject. So let me tell y'all. So I'm trying to soak these stupid gel things off. I know I just did these nails, but they were so ugly. It was pissing me off. So I'm like, I tried peeling them off, but then that hurt my real nail. So now I'm just trying to do it the right way. So yeah, I was just sitting here on my phone and my hands were like going like that so i heard this sound and i immediately just jumped like i i was like huh <laughs> oh my gosh and i pretty much scared myself so um yeah there's something wrong with me it's so annoying and i know i'm not the only one going through this so what about y'all what do y'all be scared of i also will be afraid of like because it's dark out now like if i was outside like walking you know from my car to come back inside my apartment if i looked on the ground and i saw like a crumbled up leaf i would probably start like running away or something because and it's weird because i have glasses on like i can see with my glasses but sometimes it's still kind of dark but i would literally think a crumbled up leaf is a toad or like some kind of creature trying to get to me or something I don't know, I have problems. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say that. I also look crazy right now because, I don't even know why I just tried to do that, but I look crazy right now because um, after I finished cooking and I ate that food, I think it was the 
the alcohol. I was drinking on some Chardonnay and like, I, I think I mentioned this before, like I didn't really eat today. So when I drank that, because I was trying to like speed up the time that it would take to eat my actual dinner. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Um, but then after I ate and I, I, I wasn't even trying to fall asleep, but I, cause I was listening to the music, but I literally fell asleep to my music. And then when I woke up, I was like, oh my gosh. And now look at my hair. Like I look fucking crazy, but fair not. I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing a video on how I get my short ass hair in this slick bag bun. But y'all gonna see that in a get ready with me. So stay tuned and yeah. Hey you guys, so I'm actually about to make a gym run. I just feel like I need to go today. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm not filming because I'm just like too in a mode of focus to like set up and then do the whole thing. But yeah, I'm going to the gym. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to do a little update for tonight, like, um, like what I did today. I didn't really do anything for the rest of this week. Today I went to work for a very short shift and then they had us they had lunch for us so I got lunch and when I tell you I got sick right after I was livid baby I was so livid because first of all it was Chick-fil-A and y'all ever since like Black Lives Matter and all this stuff honestly I wasn't really in fast food like that to begin with so y'all would not catch me at Chick-fil-A within the last year anyway and I'm definitely not spending my own coin on Chick-fil-A because they're racist. But anyway, my job, you know, catered us food. So, of course, I decided, okay, it's not my coin. Let me just see what's going on with them. I, they had salad for me because um, I'm a vegetarian slash pescatarian. Y'all know, but they had a salad for me. So I ate the salad. And tell me why literally after I finished eating the salad, my, my stomach just went to bubbling. And I was like, what the fuck? The ancestors was really trying to tell me something and like I heard y'all I really did and so yeah like Chick-fil-A I mean I don't know what happened like I'm guessing something that happened with the lettuce maybe they didn't wash it maybe they washed it with something but like my stomach was really just ugh, it was terrible um and then I I was so like exhausted from feeling so terrible that when I got home from work I took a nap and then after my nap um I had to literally force myself up because I could have kept sleeping to be honest but I was just like yo I've been out for so long let me get myself up and see what I can do so after I woke up from my nap I cleaned my apartment just a little cleaned the kitchen and then um made me like a quick little thing to eat um and then I decided that after that like baby I'm taking my ass to the gym like the fat ass that I want is like you know it's still pending so i have to put some work in so right now it's 7 52 p.m and i've not gone to the gym at this hour since quarantine and even before that i never would come at this time i've i've gone like really late like at like 12 i think but we're just gonna have to see what you know the gym is looking like at this hour i'll let y'all know after how it was i'm going to planet fitness and I'm excited because uh, I just feel so motivated. Like I watched Brianna Monique's channel today. Um, also, I watched Monique from Mo Beauty and she was just talking about some stuff that I had already had come to terms with. You know, the both of them actually touched base on some, you know, things that I had already come to terms with, you know, a few months ago. But then it's like some things happen where it just threw me off and like I have to like reconsider these things again. So it was just really refreshing to hear like, you know, these women that are pretty much in the same age range as me are going through the same exact shit. Like that's just what I love about being able to watch these people on YouTube is that we're all just living pretty much not the same life, but a similar life as far as like the obstacles that we have to overcome and stuff. So I just felt super motivated after watching them today. And I'm just like, yo, I'm taking my ass to the gym try to help my anxiety a bit because I've been struggling with that recently and I don't know I just hope it's a good gym sesh so yeah um I'm about to go hit the gym and I'll see you guys later hey y'all so I just finished my workout at planet fitness it was a great workout 
and for some reason like I don't know why I was so nervous to go there like I was borderline shaking prior to entering the building or like even while I was in the building I was literally shaking for some reason I don't know why like I guess I had just like social anxiety about the anticipation of seeing people at the gym like because when I got here I saw a bunch of cars so I was just like literally shaking and I hate that like I hate having anxiety because it's so like it's so almost irrational but it's like my body will just do it and it's like I'm not even trying to do that shit and it's so annoying because I don't want to feel like I'm shaking because that's uncomfortable so after actually getting into the workout like I started off with the elliptical just to, you know get some cardio in and that cardio I need to stop playing with myself and just like start making it a habit it's not that it wasn't ever a habit for me because when I did go to the gym I did do cardio but I need to like do some cardio at home clearly because I was only only for 12 minutes and I was borderline I don't know I was just like really tired and out of breath but that's a given because I haven't really been doing anything for a good three weeks it's so terrible like I am just I'm just so sad about the fact that I've lost my momentum but I'm trying to just get back on the shit but anyway um after I was on the the elliptical like I actually started to feel like like I was in the zone like I could tune everyone else out because it's just like if you're trying if you're at the gym and you're working out and you're trying to get fit or if you're just trying to like you know do better for your body and, and you're at the gym and like if anybody is paying too much attention to you that's fucking weird like we're all here to get ourselves healthy and in check and fit so I just figure like if I'm at the gym and I notice that somebody's actually staring at me I'm just like they're a fucking freak they're a fucking weirdo and like that has nothing to do with me because I'm over here minding my business trying to you know target these you know certain areas that I'm working out and we have this freak over here staring at me like yeah problems and um yeah I don't know I just got into like the the, the thinking just like tune everyone else out it's not like this is just you and you alone like you know but I will say saw some cuties that's always refreshing like oh my gosh like I just ugh. and then um at some point I actually did see a freak at the gym I was just like okay I'm literally not even gonna look at you I'm not looking at you because I can see you staring at me because I can feel you staring at me and it's fucking weird but I'm not even gonna look at you so you can like do some weird eye with your you know give me some weird look with your eyes i'm literally ignoring you so let me tell y'all what i was doing so after i did some kind of like glute targeting you know exercises the the leg press and i like isolated each leg and whatever i went back to like this little section where they have a lot of other equipment just in the corner because there wasn't really anyone over there just so i can kind of like glute activate with my resistance band and i was doing my little um what is it clam walks or I forget what it's called crab walks I was doing you know the crab walks and then I stopped that and then I started to like actually squeeze my boots forward and then kind of like release it back and then you know repeat you know do a couple sets why do I look up and some man that was like over there um I just see him like get up and like just you know kind of hunch himself over because there's like a almost like a counter type of situation and why did I see him just like just stand there like hunched over and just he's looking at my crotch now i didn't look at him to see if he was actually staring at my crotch but when i come up from squeezing my my glutes i mean obviously the cooch is getting squeezed up too so i know this man was staring at my coochie and that's weird and i just i could see him in my peripheral but then i just didn't look that way i just looked like forward because i'm just like that's fucking weird but anyways my energy is up as hell i feel fucking good and i'm just so excited like i just like i was saying before i just i just have so much motivation and i don't know i'm gonna definitely be on this grind so y'all gonna see this as getting fatter and yeah that's it i'm leaving the gym now and it's 9 37 so i was i was there for like a good hour and like a half or like almost two which is good because before i used to stay longer but obviously I can't do the most because I'm not trying to injure myself. But yeah, it was good. Hey y'all, it's show. And right now I'm at dinner with my sisters. 
Um, and dinner's going good. Like, y'all can see this. We over here cooking. Go. You should turn your meat because I feel like your meat's burning. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm over here eating shrimp and I'm trying to make sure my shrimp, um, I'm trying to make sure my shrimp cooks because I had one already that I think it wasn't fully cooked. But, um, yeah, the food's going good. I think next time we're gonna try this other Korean barbecue place called Honey Pig because the, the cooktop is bigger, there's more space, and they actually season your food more. So, yeah, but I just wanted to check in and yeah. Definitely having a great Friday. Hope you guys are doing great. Good morning, guys. Good morning, y'all. It is so early right now. Well, it's not even that early because nine is not early for me. Like, I'm usually up at like seven but right now i'm about to go to ikea because i need to get my room together like i have too much fucking clothes and i'm not trying to throw those away right now i want my clothes so i need to just I need to just find the storage space to put them away because right now it's just my winter clothes that I don't really have a space for like a space like a drawer to put them in so hope to get this drawer set and I'm just gonna put it in my closet so that my actual room is not cluttered and yeah I'm so excited like I haven't been to Ikea in over a month I've been trying to get this dresser forever it says that they have five in stock left and I'm getting it today like I cannot put this on hold no longer so y'all will see me there so I was trying to get a cushion for my chair my filming chair and like i like this one i like the shape of it i feel like it would fit my chair seat but i do not want a white one like obviously it's gonna get dirty so quick but they have this one and i think this is the one that i had on my list um for my kia but i don't like this this is very ugly like it's not cute this one is at least cute it's simple I don't like the these like buttons and the shaping of that so I don't know what to do and I swear I saw this one in black when I came here a long time ago so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm probably just not gonna get it right now because this is not it oh my gosh it smells so good over here I love the candles so the only thing I'm getting today is the the dresser that I wanted, like that's the only thing that they have for me. I'm so bummed because I really wanted to get that artificial plant for my for my living room and that just means I have to come back here yet again. Okay, it looks like the one that I want to get, wait, is this it? Okay, so it turns out they do have it, which is great. I was just having a moment because the picture that says that this is the dresser, it's something else. So I was just like, I don't know, but I found it and I'm getting it. Like, I don't know why this is a picture of the night table in black brown. But then when you look at the picture of this, it says it, it says mom. And that's the same like number for the item and then it's white so yay i'm finally gonna have storage for my clothes oh my gosh so in getting this on the cart i just broke my nail like right there and now i feel so out of breath like i just hate asking for help at these type of places Unless I really, really need it. But probably will have to ask someone to help me get this in my car because it was heavy. So I just came from mom's at an, how do I even word this? Also, I parked so badly, like look at the shit. 
But anyway, um, just came from mom's after an impromptu, an impromptu um, grocery shopping trip because I was in the area, like mom's is in College Park and I was in College Park at Ikea. So I was just like, while I'm here, let me just go and stop there. And I love this grocery store. Like customer service does not disappoint. Like it's always just so nice. People are nice. I've already said this. But yeah, I'm just about to go to the bank so I can get some cash to pull my laundry card because I have to do laundry today. And um, after that, I'm gonna go to my friend's house to pick up her drill so that I can put my furniture together i would have bought my own by now but the one that i want from ikea is just never in stock for some reason and it pisses me off because it's just like i need it and i want to have my own stuff but i'll just wait till it gets in stock because i know i'll need one on hand in the future and i'm so out of breath right now um i picked up this veggie wrap for mom's you guys i'm about to eat it right now because i'm so hungry i'm just like I'm like weak or something right now so i'm about to see how this is it has like that white wrapping i don't know what that is but it seems cool hope it's good and yeah see you guys on the flip Hey y'all, so I was finally able to finish um, building the drawers for my dresser that's in my closet that I'm gonna be using to store my winter clothes. Can't wait because my room's been a hot mess because I had to wait for Ikea to finally get it in stock. But I'm so glad that it's ready. I mean, I'm so glad that I was able to buy it as you guys saw in the vlog earlier. So now I'm just gonna put the drawers in. She's all set. Uh, I'm so excited because I just really needed that extra space. So yeah, I think this is gonna be the end of my vlog until I start a new vlog next week, which I can't wait. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog.